Oh boy. Oh boy. So uh, we are in uh, 3,000s uh, with uh, 3,510 uh, cases today. <laughs> it's locked. It is uh, locked on to uh, day uh, 24 and. Uh, So uh, today's uh, case is uh, uh, Toronto's still in the high and all uh, Peel regions are almost caught up. So uh, at uh, so we have uh, currently uh, thousand fifteen uh, really high cases uh, from uh, Toronto. 909 uh, from uh, Peer Re high, high cases from Peer Region, but almost uh, reaching a thousand. Uh, wow. No wonder uh, Dr. Lawrence Lowe uh, requested uh, the stay at home uh, rules uh, again. So. so that's what we're, where we're at right now. 391 is from uh, York Region, 206 from uh, Ottawa, and 244 from Durham Region. Uh, so all other regions have uh, reported under 2,000 uh, cases. Uh, the de 24 deaths have been reported today, and yep, pretty much. So, variants. So uh, let's see, where is the concern? So, uh, UK variants first, okay. It uh, has increased to uh, 54,436, which is a plus uh, 2,038, uh, which is uh, yeah, pretty well much of a big jump. Uh, one sixty two uh, South African variants, uh, which is a plus two, which with a minus two this time. Oh, and three hundred fifty one uh, Brazilian variants, uh, which is a plus four, and So there's a, so, and the India variant uh, is still at 36 right now. Uh, so now it's made its way to Brampton. So folks in Brampton, please be careful. So my first topic of uh, I want to talk about is let's look over to that town next door. If you I know, but if you want to drink, you know what I'm drinking is this. So the Cobra Police uh, had to find uh, seven people under the emergency management and civ the EMCPA. For uh, so if you break this rule, uh, 
you will be charged uh, $750 and uh, yeah. and also uh, 100 additional $130 uh, surcharge uh, so yeah ouch so they were uh, doing an uh, anti-lockdown pro so so already they did that on the uh, people have did, did this at Victoria Hall and uh, now Victoria Park so Peterborough weeks ago had to find a uh, Whole bunch of people uh, for doing a trying to do an anti-lockdown uh, thing in uh, Peterborough, and uh, yeah, those people uh, got uh, just they just got fined before uh, like eight hundred eighty uh, for uh, breaking the uh, anti-lockdown rules. Uh, so like uh, so if so if you like break the lockdown rules, so yeah, the police will have that entire like a uh, And also, like, yeah, there was a gang, another gathering uh, recently uh, in uh, Elmer, uh, the town of Elmer, and yeah, which in also involved uh, some four four people, uh, including uh, one fr one man from. Uh, one person from from uh, North York, and uh, this one person, a woman was uh, from uh, Scarborough, I think, I believe, and two Toronto police. Uh, and I hope they got fired, cause if they work for the law and they're trying to, yeah, they're just trying to go against that rule, right? So, uh, so also, so police uh, estimate forty. To, 46 people were in attendance at Victoria Park near downtown for the gathering. Victoria Park, excellent place. Uh, they uh, do a uh, festival that, uh, in a uh, beach and rib fest and uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, great place. However, uh, people from out of town, uh, unlike uh, not from uh, Fort Upper Coburg, uh, yeah, they sh out of towners always show up and they ruined it for us. So yeah. So also, uh, music was being played in the band band shell stage. So there's a band shell right there, and uh, so the group was asked to disperse, and uh, and a large number of people remained in the park, congregating near the band shell uh, stage, uh, according to police and. Uh, so, uh, so addition to the seven uh, e EMCPA uh, charges, uh, people the uh, people got charged. So, a, one additional person uh, got also received out of that. One of those people uh, received a bylaw ticket for using amplification uh, for uh, equ equipment. Uh, at, in the park and yeah if uh, if the town of Coburg does not approve of that yeah you should not be doing that so if it is if this is not organized uh, and verified by the town you should probably not be doing that So uh, police are against, uh, continuing to ca investigate the eight, eight people who attended the gathering and further charges are pending.
And technically, these people are like uh, breaking uh, lockdown rules and stay-at-home rules, and they're just ruining it for the rest of uh, the people of uh, in the town of Coburg, and uh, and not and the students at uh, St. Mary's. Yeah, yeah, they have to deal with that. You know, having to go back, go back to go back home and doing online classes because yeah, those coronavirus, those the coronavirus outbreak. And I'm not so sure if the, this this also happened at CCI, but I don't know. Someone said, not so sure if that one's true, but yeah, CCI student, please tell me if that and whether that happened. So, so Kingston, second topic number two, I want to talk about. Kingston bus transit. So the Kingston Fountain Athletics and Addington uh, Health Unit uh, said uh, the Kingston uh, on a Kingston City bus uh, So uh, Kingston, yeah, Kingston Fountain Athletics and Addington Public Health Unit said a person who, who tested positive for coronavirus uh, traveled on several Kingston Transit bus routes over the last two weeks. Uh, so probably this person uh, went out for uh, and they didn't know so so April so Dr. Kieran Moore reported that these people though this per the affected person that traveled on the following route uh, ap on April 15th route 7 diverting Compton Street Wilson, uh, Wilson Street uh, intersection at 1.35 p.m. at a Kataraki Center transfer point at 2 p.m. April 21st, Route 7, departing Compton Street, that same intersection, at 8.35 a.m. and arriving at same place, the Kataraki Center, 9 a.m. And uh, later on, on that th same day, this person, uh, it, uh, he, he or she, uh, departed, uh, Chandraki Center at 3.30 p.m. and arrived at Compton Street, the uh, Wilton Street uh, inter uh, stop uh, at 3.55, April 23rd, Route 16, depart from the Kingston Center transfer point at 12, 12, 12 o'clock, and arriving at Compton Street, Wilton Street intersection at 12.20. And the day after that, on April 24th, Route 1, departing at Compton Street, Wilton Street at 12.20 to arriving at St. Lawrence College at 1 p.m. Hmm. So the uh, health unit uh, is issuing a public notice because it's un uh, unable to I identify all uh, riders on these routes. Uh, so, so anyone who traveled uh, between uh, these times, uh, uh, the uh, uh, the Kingston Front Fountain Athletics and Addington Health Unit is are uh, uh, recommending uh, everyone who uh, was on that bus at that time to. Uh, For any symptoms, and if any symptoms that uh, do arise, the quarantine for uh, and immediately, and also uh, get tested. Uh, and uh, Kingston Transit uh, was following all all public uh, health uh, guidelines, and uh, yeah, and uh, this was low risk exposure, so. And topic number three. Oh no.
Yeah, it has to, of course it's going to have to be ICU again. So since ICU patient numbers are like getting crazy. During the third wave of coronavirus, uh, they, and of course, uh, we need uh, tons of nurses uh, to take care of uh, these patients uh, in the uh, IC in in ICU. So the Canadian Armed Forces Forces is uh, is a uh, yeah CAF is like literally sending a. Preparing for a potential deployment of medical personnel. So they're literally sending it, sending these people to Ontario, Ontario to uh, send that uh, you know, to uh, because we're nurses are running out. And of, of course, variant cases have a uh, have a uh, spread and uh, increased, and and hospital capacity has uh, increased, and uh, not to mention uh, some uh, nurses have had a uh, burn. They're freaking out. They're having burnouts, or maybe they, they quit the job because they, it was just too much for them. Uh, because of course, uh, they're literally witnessing patient patients dying because of coronavirus, and no matter what uh, what they do, like uh, not every patient makes it out the hospital alive. And uh, don't forget, uh, these uh, eye nurses are they're doing their best, best as they can. So. So also volunteers uh, stop and and uh, volunteers from the Canadian Red Cross uh, are also uh, they're also be uh, volunteering, excellent. Uh, but yeah, uh, but it's sad that we have to resort to this. Uh, Which brings me to, of course, we got to look at corona hospitalizations today. So, uh, hospitalization that is not now at uh, 2,271 people are uh, hospitalized uh, with coronavirus, which is a plus 145. And there's a new, another new record of uh, ICU patient that 877 in ICU. Uh, oh, bless, bless the 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 nurses in the ICU. Come on, I know it's so it's important. As I mentioned, as from uh, some uh, nurses that uh, working at a uh, Humber River. Uh, Hospital uh, in a sort of the North York Etobicoke area. It's uh, they said it's important to uh, make sure make sure like uh, we have a uh, lot lots of uh, nurses uh, taking care of these patients, but we should not try to uh, push their their limits that they would. You know, like uh, as uh, some uh, has uh, mentioned, uh, they and 
and um, otherwise it's just making it worse for the nurses as well. And this increases at plus 26. Six another new a new record of uh, I of a page ICU patient uh, using a ventilator is uh, now uh, yeah plus nine six hundred five. So actually, if you look at it, like uh, at least uh, sixty to eighty percent of a. Uh, all ICU patients are like literally using a ventilator right now. And wow. And since uh, there's uh, too many uh, patients coming in from this area, they're sending patients out west to hospitals uh, like in the, uh, the London Hospital in London. North, up north to northern Ontario, and other hospitals, uh, and out we and out east to Kingston and uh, Ottawa. Although, yeah, Ottawa, they they might have uh, to uh, deal with uh, some uh, patients uh, also from uh, from uh, Quebec. Uh, I know uh, they they do that sometimes. So if you want to get vaccinated, uh, don't hesitate. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a safe to yeah again yeah. you yeah. So if you want to get vaccinated and uh, it's currently uh, 40, if you are like 40 years or older, if you're pregnant or if you have a special needs uh, like uh, and to be to be actually uh, yeah, this for anyone special with special needs, uh, you need to be alerted by your doctor to uh, not your family doctor, your actual doctor. And uh, they will uh, get and get a recommendation, uh, like I did. So, so you can go to if you want to book online, go to www.ontario.ca/bookvaccine. But I uh, bet if you want to call, you can go to like one eight 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 nine 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 six four eight eight. Stay at home orders uh, are until May 5th, uh, provided down below. And check it out yesterday's video for uh, checkpoint reasons uh, if you're going in. Traveling between uh, the Ontario Quebec border for any specific region or the Ontario Manitoba border. So, and the lockdown ends uh, April 30th, uh, so. Just wait five days and it's officially over. April 30th is the last day. So enforcement officers have the authority to break up gatherings and, and uh, any uh, fines. The fines will be given out to 700 for those who break this, this rule by seven, with us $750 and uh, organizers of these events will be uh, charged ten thousand dollars
So breaking the uh, uh, breaking uh, stay at home uh, rules, uh, you will have to pay $880. That's all. Yeah, that's going to be a bit more pricey. And uh, don't forget, uh, there's an additional $130 fee for the if you are breaking that. The EMP CPA rules up. Uh, well, there's uh, no report on the uh, long term care for long term care all that death or outbreaks again today. Okay. So just please uh, follow coronavirus safety rules and uh, regulations, uh, lockdown regulations, stay at home rules, uh, don't have any gatherings of any kind, uh, follow Ontario Quebec border rules if cross crossing for essential uh, reasons, uh, your rights aren't more important than the rest of us literally trying to lower in, uh, cases and ICU patient numbers, and we have a fifth threat in, uh, in uh, Ontario, and it's called the India variant. Thanks, India. But the people in India trying to stop uh, this, this uh, India variant, they're working hard to do it too, so they hate it too, so don't, for, don't really blame it on them. Blame it on the specific people who started this. Well, yeah. So I know some of people might feel feel uh, impatient, and you just want to go outside, and you know, meet meet up with people and do stuff. But in order to do that, we're going to have to deal with the coronavirus first and knock it out of that way. And and to do that, we need to follow the rules, lower the cases. Of the, bit more lower lower than today's because today okay it's good lower even more and maybe we'll be in luck and this is the last week we have our lockdown rules so don't forget that so may 5th so like that is like literally uh next week uh <laughs> So this is like literally five days after, uh, ish uh, after the lock second lockdown ends. So, so just don't worry. Stay at home. Uh, rules two is over. Literally about five days. About five days. I think I believe uh, so. Yeah. If you haven't marked your calendar, do it. And uh, after that, we'll sort of lighten up with colors on rules and maybe. But having this anti-lockdown uh, stuff, uh, that's not going to get us anywhere. That's just going to it delay us uh, even uh, even further. So. Instead of going back, taking a few steps back, why don't you take a couple steps forward and join us and improve it? So stay safe, everybody. Let's hope that many people get vaccinated. I'm signing up for vaccinations. Uh, why don't you, if, uh, if you're eligible, and stay safe.